Well, Fridays in June mean it is nation building panel time. Yeah, yeah we love this. talk about building the nation because this is what, you know, getting us ready for our big Canada celebrations are all about. So today, it's on how we build our communities. You know, our, we're, our country's made up of cities, uh, big ones, small oh. ones, and we all expect the basic needs. You know, when it comes to that infrastructure, we want those basic needs met. And a lot more goes into making Canada than just infrastructure of water systems, road constructions, your taxes. We want to build community that makes purpose, that makes people feel like they belong. So today we're talking about how to build better cities, better communities, with the hopes that all Canadians can grow and help make this country great. So a super group to tackle this today. Cam Guthrie, the mayor of uh, Guelph, Ontario. Haven't seen you since the basketball game since there. Thank right. you for being here and the prayer breakfast. That's right? right. Thanks for having me. Great to have you with us. We have Michael Van Pelt with us. And just take a little right. pause here because the CEO of Cardis, Michael, welcome here. Well, good to be here. Good you, topic. Great topic. Yeah. And okay, this is like the big reveal. Michael and your team have been talking with us at Crossroads and 100 Huntley Street about about how do we brand Canada's 150th with faith. So look all over their website, it's just as rich as ours, but you've actually been part of the uh, think tank backbone behind helping us build our nation building panels. So thank you for being with us, Michael at, from Cardis. Good, good to be here, wonderful to put the, the data and the evidence behind the conversations. Yeah, yep, thank you do. for doing that yeah. at Cardis. All right, what's a community without a church? So we must have a pastor on this panel, Brian Beatty, the pastor pastor at Freedom House in Brantford. Thank you so much for being with us. We're going to hear all about your work there. And Neil Hetherington, you are the CEO of Dixon Hall Neighborhood Services, which builds infrastructure in the toughest city in this country. I will just vote for it after being in Toronto myself. <laughs> it's a fine city. And I know your viewers right across the country absolutely adore it. And, uh, and so, yeah, we are there to build community <laughs> right in the heart of that great city. All right. So thank you so much from Dixon Hall. Greg, it's going to be a good nation building. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this because, you know, one of the things that we hear back from people all across the nation is this loneliness and how do we build our communities and things like that. Nice. So your worship, uh, Mayor. <laughs> Cam's fine. Cam, okay, Cam. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mayor of Guelph uh, from 2011 to 2015, somewhere in there. More than 2014. 14. I was a councillor in the previous term, though. Okay. I just don't want to take away from the previous mayor. So. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so you're you're not the only reason for the the growth of the, of Guelph, but you know I mean over seven percent. That's pretty significant. What's the reason for the growth? Well, I think a lot of it is our geographical area. We're just outside of that GTA area. Um, so a lot of people are still looking for that small town feel. I think you have to translate, okay? Oh. GTA, uh, greater, greater Toronto, Toronto area. Yes, that's right. I know, out here they yeah. just think we all know what GTA yes, is. Yes, yeah. fair enough. Sorry, uh, <laughs> political speak for a moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I think people are looking for still a, a small town that has that small town feel. Now, we're not that small. We're still a medium-sized city, 132,000 people. But we're also one of the safest cities in Canada. Canada. We have great job uh, opportunities. We have great community. Our volunteerism rate is huge. And so I think people are being really specific and focused on where do you want to live? Where do you want to raise a family? And they're looking for places like Guelph to land in where they can really um, flourish, not only with their family, but where they can give back to the community too. Why, why is it so safe in Guelph? What's, what's the reason? Is it because of the community involvement and volunteerism? Does that kind of go together? I actually do believe that that is exactly it. The citizens really make up our city. We're all kind of looking out for each other. When people are in need, we're all trying to pitch in. Uh, and it's, it's just something that's kind of in Guelph's DNA. And so I, I, I absolutely agree that the, because of the citizens, we have a, a great safe community. Lots of neighborhood groups are always involved. And uh, so, yeah, it's going very, very well in Guelph. Okay, well, uh, maybe it's going so well in Guelph because you've got a halo effect there. Like your main yes. street and its <laughs> churches are phenomenal. Many the of beautiful, them. But the beautiful architecture at the top of the hill oh, and yes. the one at the bottom, like that is mm -hmm. a phenomenal. Okay, so that's a great segue it is, to yeah. Cardis. Um, Cardis, you have recently reduced, uh, released... Um, and I shouldn't just call you Cardis. I should call you Michael. Yeah. Sorry, Michael. You know what? It works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm tracking with you. 100% okay. here. Okay. Michael Van Pelt, Cardis has recently released the halo effect. 
What is it? The, the halo effect is based on research that's done out of the University of Pe Pennsylvania, some work that we've done here in Canada with a whole bunch of organizations, organizations, not just CARTIS. What we're trying to do is to look at the impact of faith-based organizations within cities. All of the interactions they have, providing social services, uh, providing community activity, rallying people around. And then what we did is we actually took that and put a multiplier effect from a dollar perspective. Yeah, you now, Dutch guys like that, right? Yeah, Put you in know a what? calculator, the halo calculator, you call fair it. Fair game, fair game. So, <laughs> yes, we don't go to church or worship for the impact of money. However, what it is, it's a really kind of good illustrator to show these faith-based communities actually make huge investments into the social infrastructure of a city. Okay, you've got and a pastor you can sitting beside that. you. What, how would you quantify Pastor Brian Beatty's church in Brantford? How would you quantify that? And, don't, and don't lower the expectation. Like, put it right. <laughs> <laughs> the, let me okay. just give, an, let me give an, a practical illustration. In many cities across Canada, including your own city, we deal with issues around mental illness. And we spend huge amounts of money trying to deal with that issue. The research shows, and we did a case study on this, when you build natural communities around people struggling with mental illness, your cost to government reduce, uh, reduces, the life and the quality of life that uh, people struggling with mental illness goes significantly up. Who is the basic infrastructure for that natural community? It's you. It's, it's churches and other worship institutions that provide that natural community infrastructure to be able to help people when uh, they're struggling. Brian, do you, That's called the halo effect. Do you think you're part of the halo effect? Do you think you're actually, as a church pastor, making a difference in your city on even the bottom financial line? Well, my wife always calls me an angel, so I must be close, <laughs> right? Uh, I would say for sure. So as we've, as we've analyzed what the culture in Brantford, so... Uh, back when we started Freedom House, the downtown was very impoverished. We'd gone through a recession back in the 80s. And so we chose to put our church right in the middle of that. And so a lot of the stuff we do uh, affects everything that happens there. So, so the city, we, we just build a relationship with people and say, what do you need? And so the city mm. was trying to get people downtown. So they came to us and said, can you do a winter carnival? And I said, of course we can do a winter carnival. Yeah. We had no idea what we were doing. That's the beauty of it. That is the beauty of it. We hosted this winter carnival with the city. 8,000 people showed up when no one was going oh. downtown. That was seven years ago. And this year, 17,000 people came to the downtown of our city. And everything you said, uh, this is just what we get back from the community, is that you're adding value. You, we can tell when Freedom House shows up because it adds value to what we do. Wow. Okay, Neil, you don't quite have such a happy story because you haven't got a big church family. You actually are a nonprofit working with the gifts of faith. Uh, absolutely. And, and I think, you know, what Dixon Hall does is uh, supported by evidence and the, the, the halo effect is absolutely there in the Regent Park area. It, we are bringing in everybody to, uh, to help redevelop it. For those viewers who don't know Regent Park, it is uh, one of the most or had been one of the most challenging uh, areas in terms of poverty uh, in our country. And, uh, and develop the development community, government, churches, the community as a whole got together and said, we want to make a difference and we want to change that. So that revitalization was caused by church engagement? Or well, I think that the they were certainly were part of that, not okay. the only part. They were, they were part of that engagement process. The City of Toronto did a remarkable job on engagement. And so every group, every faith uh, came together. The, the development community got together under Daniel's leadership and it, it made a tremendous uh, difference in, the, uh, in its growth. You, Mr. Edmonton, it's very funky down there in yeah. Beijing Park. I, I gotta very, go. It, you know, it's, it's actually a beautiful, okay. That's a fascinating um, practical application of this halo effect. We're going we're gonna to keep talking about this. And meanwhile, I think you'll see up on, the, on the, our, our website, we'll have a link to the halo calculator. Mm, so you can cool. find out, is your faith-based community efforts in your community, are they making a difference for Canada on the halo calculator? More on that when we come back.